Hey guys, it's Patrick from Travels with Delaney. This is just a quick follow-up video to our most recent video on the Mr. Heater Buddy. I uh, saw a comment that from Jim D who said he had the uh, Mr. Heater and it caused his uh, carbon monoxide to go up rapidly, like in 10 minutes. So it made me think I need to do a quick follow-up and test the CO2. So what I did was, unfortunately the CO2 detector in the trailer is not a digital readout. Um, so I have one of these uh, that you can pick up for, oh, probably under $50. And I'll actually get an Amazon link down in the description for this particular one. But uh, it will actually tell you exactly what it's reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lay that on the table. Um, this time the test is not so much about the heat as it is about what's going to happen with the carbon monoxide, but I did open a window. I cannot open the vent because we've had too much snow and ice here in Indiana, but I do have the window cracked because again, I would not run this at night when we're sleeping and I would not run it without the trailer being vented. I, the whole idea of this heater for us is, um, just to bring the temperature of the trailer up quickly and then allow the Aldi system to take over. So... I'm going to probably check this every, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes for up to an hour, and I'll get you those readings. So stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and fire up the Mr. Buddy, and we'll come back in just a little bit through the miracle of video editing, and we'll see our results. Right, it's at our 15 minute mark and we're still reading zero. So I think that's a good sign. Let's check our temperature, see if it's come up any in here. 33 degrees, so we have come up. Let's check it in another 15 minutes. We are now at the 30 minute mark. Still reading zero, I guess that's a good thing. Hopefully it's working okay. And. Maybe just by having this window cracked. And we're up to 38 degrees after 30 minutes. So, and that's with this window cracked. I'm going to show you which window here, just so you have a reference point. It's this window here, and you can see, if I can get my hand in, that's how much it's cracked right there. Hopefully you can see. So it's not like the window's completely open, but it's enough that I can get my hand up in it. So, all right, we will come back at 45 we're minutes. We're at 45 minute mark, so let's go back in. Let's start with our temperature and 44 degrees and let's check our CO2, it's still reading zero. So um, let's hope this is working, I believe it is. Let's check our heater, yep, it's still running and this CO2 detector is also, notice this one, the one that comes installed in the trailer does not have any digital display so um, but it's not going off either and I actually have the interior heater intentionally setting there so all right we're gonna let it go 15 more minutes and get us to the hour. here we go the final hour we've done it for actually it's been one full hour 46 degrees so pretty good one hour low setting with the window open and we're still reading zero. So I feel comfortable with the window open based upon this test. Um, again, I wouldn't sleep with it on, but I think uh, based upon this, it seems pretty good. All right, there you have it. Uh, makes me feel a little bit better running that test. And so hopefully that's just a uh, supplement to uh, yesterday's video to answer the questions on using it in your trailer. Uh, as I said yesterday, we still have some small channels that are subscribed to our channel that I'm trying to help out. I wanna mention three more real quickly please go visit their channels and subscribe. Again, some of their content, quite honestly, is probably better than mine. So uh, go check them out. I don't want you to leave my channel, obviously, but go subscribe, help them out. Uh, February 20th, we're trying to get these guys that are, and gals that are, um, I'm focusing on the channels that have at least 500 subscribers. It's not that those of you below 500, I was there not that long ago, and I can help you out at some point too, but I feel like if they have at least 500, um, maybe we have a chance to get them to 1,000 before February 20th so they can keep their monetization going. So first channel to check out is RV Habit. 
These are some top-notch videos for you RV enthusiasts. There's um, all kinds of RV information, um, RV products videos, um, maintenance, RV maintenance, how to winterize, and again, very well done videos. So go check out RV Habit. Uh, second one is Progressive Prepper, and if you go over there, you, you're going to find all kinds of things. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to go watch is some of his portable solar power videos because that's important to me. Uh, he also has a playlist on emergency communication systems that I'm going to watch and also on uh, camp cooking. So Progressive Prepper is our second one today, and my last one is wobbly otter outdoors and you're going to find everything from travel videos um, to gear and gear reviews and you have to go check out their rooftop tent i have been wanting one of those for over a year i'm probably not going to get one because we just bought the tab but these again are all these channels are producing really high quality videos but go check out wobbly otter outdoors and make sure you go and subscribe comment tell them tell them we sent you over um, they're on our channel so you can know that they're subscribing to our channel as well but let's help them out you guys all help me out and i want to repay the favor so all right that's it just meant to be a quick short video nothing fancy here but uh until next week we'll see everybody on down the road.